So this is the dashboard for the reimbursement sheet. It's split up so that the main dash is going to provide an overview of the different types of reports that we've combined and reconciled together. All up, there's going to be the main reports are going to be the reimbursements, inventory adjustments, returns, shipments, and your SKU information, your weight and package dimensions. Okay, so we've re we've combined about six to seven different reports into one so that you can actually see and quickly identify which ones that you can get reimbursement for. And if you follow the email templates, when you copy and paste it as a ticket into seller support, um, you'll know which information that you need to copy and paste. The more info you just paste into the ticket, the better, um, less back and forth with seller support. Okay, so let's go to the first one. This is going to be the reimbursements report. We've highlighted in red, so anytime you see a red highlight or something that's color coded, you're going to be wanting to submit a ticket for that. In this case, these lost warehouse, lost inbound damaged warehouse, these are all Amazon's mistakes. And so you can definitely request a reimbursement um, and there's no reason why they should not give it back to you. The only reason is if they've already um, reimbursed you and in that case you'll be able to get the actual ID but for the most part because um, you've got all of this copy and paste the entire row or actually copy and paste it up to say like the condition or even up to the reason because you need say the approval dates the SKUs the reimbursement IDs a case ID would be great if there's a case ID it likely means it's already been done um, and then the reason so copy and paste all of this and then create a ticket and um, submit it to seller support for the reimbursement side you can enter about 10 yep 10 ASINs so um, for these ones for example like you want to do this or you want to just get the ASIN copy like the 10 ones that are highlighted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, etc. Um, paste it in as well as the reimbursement ID, and then that's it. It's good to go. The next one is going to be the inventory adjustments. The reason, the four main reasons that you want to get um, reimbursement for are M, E, um, Q, and five. Okay, so if you go into say inputs, there's the different reasons, and these are the different adjustment reasons. And it's going to be M, E, Q, and five and so these are the reasons that amazon is going to reimburse you all the other ones they're just going to say hey it's not our fault or it's within policy um, but all of these these four you definitely do want to get back so again same thing if you see any of these copy and paste um, the rows and then just submit a ticket on the return side these are the customer returns and so um, there's you're not going to win back 100% of the customer returns because Amazon may come back and fight you and say, um, no, this is within policy. But all it takes is, again, a few seconds to create a um, seller ticket and um, it's better to request it and then get rejected as opposed to uh, a potential reimbursement being not even being requested and then you lose out money you give free am, uh, money to amazon right so all of the different reasons we've highlighted and read the ones where it's mostly related to either the customer's fault or amazon's fault so you definitely want to go through these and submit a ticket for each of these on the shipment side <coughs> Anytime a quantity is negative, so that means Amazon mischecked it or didn't count it. Like, let's say you sent in 100, but they didn't, they um, said, oh, we only got, um, what is that, 88 units, right? Then you definitely want to just create a ticket rather than trying to figure out, oh, may, was there four submitted, reconciled from this shipment, another three from here. And then rather than trying to do it yourself, it's just going to be easier to just take a few seconds um, and only copy and paste um, this entire line and then let Amazon seller support figure out, oh, we already reimbursed you, say, eight units in this particular shipment because it came under a different shipment, etc. Um, so rather than you trying to figure it out and wasting time, this is after all Amazon's fault and their um, <coughs> lack of either quality or control so just hand it off to them and then just try to if you get the max 12 great if you don't fine um, but so anything to save your time so don't bother trying to calculate and make sure oh was this 2 2 1 1 etc just copy and paste it in and then let Amazon deal with it and then lastly on the packaging and the dimensions because Amazon has so many issues with either QB scans um, what you definitely want to do is be proactive about this if you see a length width um, or some sort of dimension change quite regularly and your fees also changing with it um, this is something that you want to see so on this you can all see all of this on the dashboard 
So on, if you scroll to the right side, you'll be able to see like how many returns are coming in for the product, which fulfillment center has the most adjustments, as in many issues and refunding, et cetera, et cetera. And then on this side, which fulfillment centers has the most lost inventory. So something to keep in mind. And then the Cuban scan, as, which shows you the fees as well as the package dimensions and weight. So this is a great way to be proactive about it, but at the same time, save you a ton of time rather than trying to reconcile everything one by one. Um, our tip is to just copy and paste straight into a ticket and then let Amazon handle the rest. Okay, so that's that's all there is. Okay, thanks a lot.